Hello, hello, beloveds, and happy, happy August. I had to get on live and share some insight and inspiration with you as well as invite you to something that I have this weekend and to just say hello. I missed you all. I am back. Hiatus is over. However, you will be seeing less of me. I have so much to tell you, to share with you, and so happy August. So first of all, just I am just sending so much love and light out to each and every one of you. All of you are my brothers and sisters. We are here no matter where we are in the world. And so let's just take a moment to pause for the cause, the cause of blessing, the cause of peace, the cause of prosperity, the cause of well-being, the cause of wellness for each of us and all of us. A pause for the cause of ourselves and so we just are so grateful to have this time to each with each other and for each other and so much more ashe blessed be so thanks everyone for tuning in happy happy Wednesday happy Wednesday I wanted to tune in and turn on with you because OMG there is so much going on out there and up there in the cosmos and so much more so first of all let me tell you right now mark your calendars for Sunday 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 and I just remembered I forgot to post the link but I will post it right after this so go to the tap bio and you will see the link there to sign up for this Sunday I am doing a midsummer a midsummer predictions and prophecies and the reason I'm doing it this Sunday is for three main big reasons first off it is 8-8 Eight is the number of infinity, eight is the number of prosperity, eight is the number of so much magic. So it is eight eight on Sunday. Second thing, it is the Leo new moon. And so this eight eight and this Leo new moon are creating what's called the Lion's Gate portal. So we're in this portal of energy now with these five retrogrades. Now remember, I'm not an astrologist. I'm just telling you about the energy that is coming down. And so this energy is really creating this like really what does the lion represent our courage our confidence our sense of self our sense of worth and more than that that brings in then our sense of abundance and prosperity and so this energy that we've got coming up on Sunday is huge and so number three is I want to share with you some of again I'm gonna reflect on what were the 2021 predictions and prophecies that I saw but I want to add on a few more and what we can look forward to for the rest of this year. Who's interested in that? I would love to see some hearts. So tell me, where have you been? Where have you been? Um, what have you been doing for this month? What have you learned in July? What did you let go in July? I would love to see some insights. So hello, beloved, pretty girl, Vernique. I see you three rising. Some of these names I can't see, but I'll try to wave at you. So, th or I can't pronounce all of them. And so, you know, this Lion's Gate portal, again, and because we have these five planets in retrograde, but this is really guiding us to beloveds, is truly unenlightening. Many of us are saying that we're awakening, but what's happening is we're really enlightening ourselves because we have to start remembering, you know, many of us are going back into our ancestors, right? Doing historical studies and our ancestry and who we are, right? And so we're going backwards. And what is that doing? Is teaching us in the now. And what we do then now will go forward. So we'll be bringing all the energy of our ancestors and moving forward. And what is that? That is called enlightenment. That is not staying on this horizontal man-made timeline of history and the future. In fact, it is about you saying you know what those things no longer support me and we're really all coming into soul awareness and that's because I mean the data shows that spirituality is a billion dollar industry why is it a billion dollar industry is because so many of us are looking for ourselves for looking for our um, 
looking for a deeper sense of who we are more than just these you know bodies this human being experience and so that's why spirituality is so powerful right now because we're recognizing that it's not about the books and the teachers and the gurus it's about doing the inner work and that's why I wanted to share some insights that I received while I was on hiatus that will support us in our self-awareness and also this um, time off gave me an opportunity to really look at the um, energy of the Akashic Records and how that is something that's so important to us. I've been studying Akashic Records since I was like uh, so young and um, because I've always been a psychic and medium, right? And so I've always been interested in past lives, past life regression and all of that. And so the Akashic Records, what I've come to understand um, after all these years of study are about our patterns and so we're seeing a lot of patterns a lot of things is what we don't realize is we're seeing some things in history are being repeated and so we're being given an opportunity which is why these five retrogrades repeat retrograde why we're given this opportunity to heal forward and so you know um, to um, also talk about this energy of enlightenment. Again, it's about lifting off the things, the weights that have weighed you down so you can be in the light. And in the light is not really, it's not about like you've gotten to this place where you've like, oh, I've arrived, I'm here and you're over there. Enlightenment is really about a sense of I am bringing in the light to myself every day. I am, I am adding light out into the consciousness of this world. I am adding light. That's why I started out with the prayer right away. That is me adding light already to your life before I even start talking, right? That is adding light to you, adding light to me, adding light to the universe. Look at there's butterflies all around. And so, you know, um, learning that this is a process of who we are you know doing shadow work is a constant a constant experience you know it's not a destination and this is why so many people get frustrated because they want it oh I did this healing work it's done I did this healing work already but it doesn't work that way healing is an ongoing process it's just like if I if I cut myself right the first thing we're gonna see two 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 thank you for that beloved the first thing I'm gonna see is the wound and then after a couple days it will be what like a, uh, a bruise right and then after the bruising then you'll see like the scab right and then after the scab then it's what then it's a scar but then after it's a scar we almost we forget about it right that's what our healing process is like you know, there's these wounds that we have to look at. Yes, I haven't posted in a while. I was on hiatus, so I haven't done any lives. And so I'm inviting everyone. This is a free live event on Sunday. As I said, if you're just um, joining me now, I forgot to pop in the link. I will be popping it in as soon as we wrap up. So tap the link in bio so you can sign up for this Sunday's midsummer check-in. And also wanted to let you know, I will have a very special guest with me you know um, as I was talking about the Akashic Records a very near dear friend of mine um, a sister friend who is also a psychic medium um, shared with me some insights that she had with me as you know for my birthday and so um, she creates these amazing she's a spirit artist and so she shared with me it's time for you to bring that wisdom that knowledge out and so I'll be sharing some of that with you on Sunday there'll be special guests Miana and I will be um, together you thank you so much Zin Shells I appreciate you um, you know and this is a part of what I want to share with you you know and you know people always are sharing with me um, oh you look so calm and you look so peaceful but you know I wasn't always I was not always and that's some of the stuff I wanted some of the things that I want to share with you and how we can start getting to that place of enlightenment how we can start allowing ourselves to be at peace no matter what is going on out there and so the Akashic Records what's happening out there in the universe how we're feeling you know our wellness wellness is the new wealth 
right? We used to think, oh, everybody wants to make six figures, everybody wants to be a millionaire. But you know what? We're seeing now more than anything, it is our health that truly is our wealth. Because if we don't have our health, and it's not just about health of this, this, spirit, this body, we are not these bodies. We are actually souls. We are free. However, our consciousness, our soul is in this body. And so this body is teaching us something, lessons by being a black woman, a black woman with the Afro, a black woman with this kind of skin, a black woman with this kind of body, a black woman in this time and age, right? Um, and so this is more than that type of wellness. This is mental wellness. We have seen such a surge in mental breakdown and mental stress and mental strain in the in in, in the pot in this in society. And so our health is a part of our well-being, but it starts, you know, we have to have mental emotional, spiritual, and physical health. And that is what well-being is. Wellness is doing all those things to stay at and well-being. And so that's why when people say, oh, you look so calm and peaceful. And you know what? What I was going to say is, no, it wasn't always that way. You know, if you are new to me and have just started following me, um, I'll share more of my story in my upcoming book. But, you know, as a single mother at 20, um, a struggling college student, a librarian, you know, a black librarian, all these different things, I would have never thought that this was my life. But because I kept following my soul, following my Akashic records, following my intuition, I am guided to this dream, to this dream place that I've always wanted to be. And so I'll be sharing some of that with you. We've got some amazing new workshops coming up for you. We've got some new offerings coming up for you very soon that we can't wait to share with you. And so please join our community. Join us on Sunday. Again, this is a live free event on Sunday, 8-8. We're going to go through the lion's gate. We're going to open up all of our energy. We're going to pull in all that energy of that Leo new moon. So when you come on Sunday, bring in your Leo energy. Bring in whatever that means to you. Bring in your prosperity, your symbols of wealth. Bring in your journal. Get your cards, your crystals. Be ready for Sunday. And so as I said, I'll be popping the link in the tap bio so you can sign up. And remember, this is absolutely free. Invite your friends. And the reason I'm doing this, um, really this midsummer check-in, is so we can see what what is coming for us for the rest of this year and then maybe a little bit beyond into 22 because right now I know things are looking kind of hard but guess what beloveds things are right where they need to be so stay tuned for more of that I'm so happy to be back thank you so much for taking some time to listen and tune in with me today I can't wait to discuss more about Akashic Records more about our wellness is our wealth and so much more we can't I can't wait to open up this lion's gate this lion's gate portal on 8-8 like I said be in your most regal. When I think of a lion, I always, you're so welcome, beloved. When I think of a lion, I always think of like this regal energy. So I want to see everybody on Queen Point on Sunday, okay? So it's going to be at one o'clock. Go ahead and put your, um, Put it in your schedule. I'm gonna pop. Top, I'm gonna pop the the uh, link right in soon. As, so go to the tap bio and you can sign up there. So come in your regal, most beautiful lion lioness gear. Again, it's gonna be on Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Standard. It is a new moon in Leo. It is the Lion's Gate. Come and find out what all that means, how you can em embrace that and harness that and allow that to enlighten you. So I send you so much love and light, beloveds. I can't wait to see you on Sunday. We're gonna be bringing in the new moon magic and so much more. Happy, happy Wednesday. And until next time, beloveds, know that you are love. You are so, you are so blessed. So thank you again, beloveds. I'll see you on Sunday. Look for the link in the tap-in bio right after this. Until next time, beloveds. Ashe.